It's time for the Margin Matters Minute with Money Man, Jason Brown. All right, Jason Brown here with another edition of the Margin Matters Minute. I am the author of Margin Matters, How to Create a Simple Budget and Crush Debt Forever. You can find that book on Amazon.com. It's a very good book, if I say so myself. Now today, I'm starting a new series called Turning Trash into Cash. Now I will admit, I was waffling back and forth on doing this video because I didn't want people thinking uh, negatively of me uh, as like I'm some sort of dumpster diving hobo, you know, digging through the trash, looking for other people's treasures uh, to flip and sell. But uh, that's okay. I'm okay with that now. So um, I know a lot of people do this. There was a lot of shows that uh, popularized this uh, not too long ago. Shows like Pawn Stars and Barter Kings and Storage Wars uh, made all this really popular and mainstream. Um, but I started thinking about this, um, doing some deep thinking. And where this all started with me was when I was actually a kid growing up in Miami, Florida, our neighbor across the street was having a yard sale. So I, uh, I was probably eight or ten years old, went over to the yard sale, was just kind of nosing around, and I found a shoebox, just like this one. It wasn't actually this shoebox, but it was a shoebox uh, in the trash can at, at the yard sale. So uh, being the nosy little kid that I was, I you know, looked through the shoebox, and the shoebox actually was full of baseball cards and football cards, a bunch of sports cards. And, of course, I asked the, the lady, uh, our neighbor, I said, hey, you're... Are you just throwing this? Is you're just giving this away, or throwing it away? He says, "Yeah, you can have it." So I took the shoebox full of cards and didn't think anything of it. And now later down in life, uh, when I started getting into uh, sports collectibles, I went through that box and I discovered uh, there were a whole lot of 1981 Topps football cards in there that had a lot of value, uh, including the 1981 Joe Montana rookie card. Uh, that was the most valuable one in there. Uh, that one I ended up selling for about 200 bucks on eBay. Uh, so that was a very valuable uh, find in the trash for me as a young kid. So I think that just that moment sparked my, um, I guess, discovery of, hey, you know, the, the, the famous saying of other people's tr trash is someone else's treasure. Uh, so that's how it all started with me. So today I'm actually going to show you guys some of the things that I have actually found in the trash. Now we live in a condominium complex that has a dumpster. So again, I'm not dumpster diving, but what happens is a lot of people move out and they just leave all their crap by the dumpster. It's, you know, they don't want to move it or, or whatever it may be. They're just purging, getting rid of stuff. So they'll just set stuff out. And a lot of times, a lot of it is very valuable stuff. So the first thing I found, actually, I'm going to show you guys, um, and I'll put a screenshot up because I've already sold it, uh, was a kid's bike, a bicycle. Uh, the Mongoose BX it was a stunt bike. And actually, this bike, I didn't find in the dumpster or in the trash. It was actually abandoned, and it was left underneath our stairwell. And it was kind of buried under dirt and pine straw. I don't know how long it had been there. It had been there for years. Um, and our property manager was actually cleaning out, um, cleaning the property, and he was actually uh, getting ready. To, it was actually on its way to the dumpster. And I said, hey, wait, let me see if I can take that. Maybe I can clean it up or, or keep it for one of our sons. But I ended up uh, cleaning it up and selling it. I sold it on Craigslist. I got 50 bucks for it. So it was basically like finding a $50 bill on the ground. So that was one of the ones that I found. Um, another one that I found, and I actually had to write this down so I could uh, remember the exact name of it, and I'll put a screenshot up of this as well. It's the Four Moms Mama Roo Baby Infant Seat. Uh, someone left this just sitting by the dumpster, and again, I didn't really, you know, I always assume that it's broken or something's wrong with it. If someone throws it out, there's a reason it's probably broken or something. So I just brought it home, and sure enough, it was in perfect condition. It worked. Uh, it's kind of like a little motorized baby swing and it has sounds and music and it vibrates and stuff So it had like a plug had a power plug and I think it took batteries as well. So those things uh, as you can see um, From the screenshot those things are going to retail for well over two hundred dollars I want to say two to three hundred dollars if you buy one of those new I put that on Craigslist and sold it for a hundred bucks uh, unbelievable so something that somebody threw out uh, either A, they didn't know it had any value, or most of the time they just don't want to do the work to sell it. 
um, or, or donate it or give it away. They just like, hey, it's easier just to throw it out and you don't have to worry about it or deal with it. But hey, I took the time to sell it and I made $100 off of it. So the other, I, we still have some other things here that I'm actually going to show you that we have um, rescued from the trash um, that we actually uh, still have possession of. So right here I'm going to show you. Uh, we have this uh, kid's little scooter. Um, oh yeah, it's a, it's a Paw Patrol, so you can actually zoom down here and see a lot of the kids love the Paw Patrol. This is a Paw Patrol scooter. Um, uh, my son, you know, he loves playing on it, and he's, he's got a couple different scooters, but he uses this one. Again, there was nothing wrong with it. I thought it might have been broken or something, but you know, it's all it's it's all intact, and and I don't really know how what kind of value that has. Maybe between 30 and 50 bucks if you bought it new. But um, what we'll do is uh, with stuff like this, we'll keep and we'll use it. And then when we're done using it, then we'll, we'll try to sell it. So maybe we can get, you know, 10 or 20 bucks for it. I don't know. But so right now we're keeping that. So that's one that we found. And here, actually this one, actually we'll do the stroller last. So this one here is something that my wife, I think she found. It's, a, it's kind of a, uh, I guess you would call it just a floor vase. Uh, there's times of the year where we have stuff that we put in it, like the cinnamon sticks that you buy at Kroger during the fall that help the house smell nice. So we'll put stuff in here uh, during the different seasons. Now this vase, I have no idea the value of it. I've never researched it yet uh, because my wife wanted to just keep it. Uh, we set it by the fireplace. Um, but you know, if and when we decide that we don't need it or want it anymore, then I will try to see if it has any value and then of course I'll try to sell it. Um, so that's one thing that we have found uh, that I wanted to share. And then this other thing, this is actually kind of unique. This, uh, it's kind of like a corner lamp shelf. Uh, and, and again, it works, I couldn't believe it. Um, this to me looks like something that you would find in the 1970s. This looks very 1970s-esque to me. Um, it just looks vintage and throwback. I've never really seen anything like this. Um, but again, I don't really get out that much, so. Uh, but this, uh, again, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing broken, and the, the light works. I think the light bulb was still in it, so it's a pull string lamp. Uh, we put it in the corner over there in our dining room. Um, again, I don't know the value of this. We just decided to keep it, um, but if and when we decide to get rid of it, then I'll, I'll research the value. Maybe I could sell it for, who knows, 20, 30, 40 bucks, I don't even know. Uh, something like that, someone would probably have... Uh, you know they would like to have it just because it, it just kind of have vintage look to it um, now this is the I want to show you this this is probably the one of the uh, larger items we found this is a it's a juvie uh, double stroller so it actually has a seat in the front and the back and again this was just left at the dumpster as is and again, I thought it was broken. Something must have been wrong. It must got have been missing a wheel or something. Um, why, why would someone leave this here? Um, so I started, you know, I immediately looked it up. This thing right here uh, retails for $279 if I was going to go buy it new. So, of course, we have two kids, so we kept it for ourselves to use. Of course, I cleaned it up, you know, cleaned the seats. Um, and the only thing, it was actually missing this... Um, the uh, the little cup holder tray here so we just went to the juvie website and we bought that replacement accessory i want to say it was like 20 bucks so that's really the only we put 20 bucks into this so we just bought the replacement um little deal here the cup holder thing um tray yeah the cup holder tray so we bought that that was it so we haven't done anything else to it we've you know cleaned up the the upholstery uh it works great it's a double stroller uh, both kids can ride in it. Now what we'll do with this is we'll keep it and use it and then when we're done using it then we'll try to sell it. Um, you know who knows I, I would think maybe I could get 50 to 100 bucks for it if it retails for almost 300. Um, it's in you know great working condition. So that's kind of another thing that we found um, that we kind of struck gold with at the uh, at the dumpster. So so these are some of the things that we found that, that I just wanted to share um, that you know, I like flipping things, but I also like finding things that we can use that prevents us from having to go out and buy something at full retail price. You know, could, uh, something like a stroller, you're only going to be using it for a finite amount of time anyway. This is a perfect example. So, 
you know, do I want to go out and pay three, four? Some of these these jogging strollers can cost anywhere between five hundred and a thousand dollars. It's 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 insane how much these strollers cost. But you're going to invest that much money in a stroller. You're only using it for a finite amount of time because your kids are going to either a either a they're not even going to like it or they might not even get in it because that's happened. B they're going to grow out of it pretty quickly. Uh, so then you you've got a you know a whatever three four hundred dollar stroller that you've used for six months so that's just not really a good you know return on investment uh, from my standpoint so these are the kind of things I always look for um, you know I'm not necessarily looking uh, to dig through the trash but when we find things we definitely will take advantage of it um, all in the name of saving money uh, from avoiding paying retail so I'm gonna try to keep uh, a, a series of these going just because I think it's fun to share uh, some of the treasures that I find in the trash and uh, and put in the comments if you guys have some stories I'd love to hear them uh, what have you found in the trash or, or, or maybe something in lost and found uh, that uh, you ended up uh, you know inheriting I guess that's happened a lot so yeah I'd love to hear some comments of, of what other people have found so that's my story uh, today turning trash into cash uh, Jason Brown you can find out more about my endeavors on my website, yourmarginmatters.com. And you can also check out my book, Margin Matters, on Amazon. And uh, once again, Jason Brown saying, remember, it's not the amount of money you make. It's the margin that matters the most. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.